Hi you guys, you are on Crypto Clear. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like the channel, please subscribe and hit that like button down below. And for those who are my loyal subscribers, welcome back. I have a project that I'm so excited for everyone to discover. It's one in which honestly has some of the best designs I've ever seen so far. Without further ado, you guys, let's get into Cloud Castle. Cloud Castle is the project review of the day. And here we are on its website and we're going to go ahead and enter in the Elizas. So this is from the creators of Heroes of Might and the Magic series, just so you guys know. So if we enter, you guys, let's get ready for it. Look how freaking cool it is to begin with. So we get introduced to this like in the space type thing with things that are floating. And if we scroll to explore, we see first we have the lore. Let me just put this music down for a second so you guys can hear me talk. So we have the lore. We go further in, you just keep scrolling. We have the creatures. Further on out, we have the battle arena. So there's going to be some, you know, games going on, some P2E, PVP. Here we have the game plays. We have also the team that we're going to get into. And then we get back to the lore. So now that we've explored like how to navigate the website, let's get into each one. But first of all, I want to start off by explaining the project a little bit. So all in all, you guys, Cloud Castle is an action strategy game set in a new fantasy universe from John Van Kenningham. I totally butchered that name and I'm so sorry, but he's a Hall of Fame creator of the Heroes of Might and Magic series. In Cloud Castle, two civilizations ravaged by ancient conflict clash in a sky rife with powerful wizards who hold at their command a variety of magical fantastical creatures. So here we're going to get into the lore and we'll see a mini clip, which kind of explains that and you'll get to see more. A fractured realm, remnants of an apocalyptic war. Long after the shattering, ancient conflict reignites. A different kind of war. Battlefields strewn across the sky. Wizards commanding battalions of fantastic creatures. Statues brought to life by arcane magic. So we do get this like ancient vibe, these statues that are coming to life, these creatures that we're going to see in a second, you guys. But first of all, oh, actually, yeah, we're at the creatures. So let's check out the creatures right away. So battles are fought on many different fields of combat strewn across the sky from barren's waste to abandoned cities to the verdant meadows full of life. Let's hop on in. So here we have the Titan, mysterious automation of fearsome and merciless power. So here we have he is a ground creature fire element. Look at this cool dude. Look at his armor. Look at the detail in it. So this is at his statue state. So inactive creature state. So if we click on a live, so you can click on live, let's, ooh, this is Titan who is animated by magic, you guys. You guys, he is just emitting all kinds of fire. You can see him all red. And then if he's powered, oh, even more fire. He's alive. He's powered at this point. Okay, so this is number one of eight. Let's go through the other ones. The Ancient Warden. Compact rainforest of many life forms working together as one. He has the earth element. So we do see that he has an earthy vibe. This is an inactive creature state. Let's let's make him alive. Ooh. Okay, so you do see this like earthy, like green um that he's emitting, and when he's powered, even more so. It's just on a next level. We have Naga, who is a majestic creature once revered and now universally feared. And she or he, I want to say it's a she because of the smaller figure, but honestly, I don't even think they have a gender. So it's an electricity element that this creature has. Once they are alive, ooh, okay. 
kind of has like a, a snake type. Like, it kind of reminds me of Medusa almost because of the four hands and then the snake. But I don't know if you guys think the same thing. And then when she's powered, there you go. You can see the electricity that's just booming from her or his or its, I should say, the body. So then we have the turtle drake. Ooh, turtle drink. Deadly amored reptiles from the earliest days of Elysis itself with the ice element. So they're gonna see, I think we're gonna see some blue if it's alive. Yeah, exactly. So we can see it's cold, it's fearless, it's scary, and when it's powered, ooh, it's ready to do some damage. We have elf rogue. Here we go. Feral and lethal guardians of the natural world with the sun element. You guys, this is probably my favorite because I love the sun. Alive, you see there's yellow, there's this energy, and then powered, fearless. We have an ogre, so I'm just gonna go through these ones fast. Alive, this is how it looks like, and powered. We have arcane, ooh, it's like a, that's like a reptile, spider-ish. And then there we go, powered. And then we have, the last one is the living armor, and it it's alive. So essentially, like you guys, I'm showing you this because I was just really blown away by the graphics, the design, the detail behind this project. You can see that, you know, they're very talented individuals who are creating the project and when you put that much you know thought and detail within a project you know that you know that generally the team does really care and are putting so much effort into their own project as they should so here we have the battle arena you guys so essentially players will face off across battle arenas from barren wasteland to lush green plains to environments overrun by lava, needing to utilize their own skills to harness the magic and energy and land itself in order to help lead their side to victory. Creatures can be evolved, improved, and traded to assemble rosters to dominate any foe. So if we go into the battle arena, prepare to fight battles are fought on many different fields. So we have the Dalton Towers, the Southern Hope, the Sacred Ruins, the Endless Downs, again with just spectacular designs the long soden the cauldrons of jespar the glacier ridge and it's cool to me because there is all of these different elements so like water or i guess ice fire sun so cool so in cloud castle players will collect and evolve fantasy creatures that we have seen deploying teams in unique battle arenas such as these and direct them in fast Pace battles. Cloud Castle is a true next-gen experience being built on Unreal Engine 5 with integrated Web3 blockchain technology that will give players full ownership to enable buying, selling, trading, and borrowing of in-game digital assets. If we go into the gameplay, two civilizations ravaged by ancient conflict clash in a sky rife with powerful wizards. So we have the fantasy fighting where Cloud Castle is an action strategy game where players collect and evolve fantasy creatures. Wizards magically animate statues into vibrant, fantastical creatures, augment their strength and skills with artifacts, and command them in epic battles. We have the living statutes, so collected creatures, statutes can be equipped, improved, evolved, and traded to assemble formidable rosters of fierce combatants to dominate opponents. We have the stunning battle arena, so deeply immersive and powerful engaging battle grounds are rendered in stunning detail with advanced technology like unreal engine 5 and full ownership as previously discussed so players can completely own the battle elements they acquire collect modify build and achieve via blockchain technology here we have the team so the behind the scenes cloud castle is being brought to life by digital insight games a next generation game studio founded by the industry veterans themselves with next gen technology we're at the forefront of technology and digital economies defining the future of world-class interactive entertainment and you guys it's not really difficult to understand that they're doing this again just by looking at the high quality project that we're looking at. The team is composed of individuals from leading globally renowned games companies including Activision Blizzard, Electronic Arts, Take Two, Tencent, Ubisoft, and numerous others. And for more information, you guys can visit the digitalinsightgames.com. So we've just spoken about the Digital Insight Games team, and to elaborate more on them, they have worked on some of the biggest franchises in gaming, including Call of Duty, Tomb Raider, Gran Turismo, and 
and so many more. And a key priority for Cloud Castle at this critical early stage of development is collaborating with the community to ensure that foundations for Cloud Castles are delivering fun, innovations, and quality across the whole experience. By hitting a high quality bar and working with the community early to help shape the experience, they're confident they'll be able to demonstrate how their approach to digital asset ownership can deepen their connection to their favorite games further. So Digital Insight Games actually launched a stealth mode in April 2022, announcing Series A funded co-led by Hivemind Capital and Griffin Gaming Partners. So these are investors in Discord, Apple Loving Skills and Forte, and further investments from Hunt Technology Ventures, RSC Ventures, for now and more to come. And you guys, here I am on Crew 3. So whitelist rules are actually now open via the questing systems on Crew 3. So please visit this website. It will be linked down below to level up and grow the community. Check this out, you guys, and get whitelisted. I also want to talk about their castle medias and links. So they do have discords where you can join a conversation. You have video int they have a YouTube channel where there is a video introducing Cloud Castle and the team. You can also check them out on Twitter and as well as their white papers. So you guys, I don't provide financial advice in this video. You always have to do your independent research before engaging with the project. And it's a really good start to go into their white paper itself and here they have it they also have their tokenomics and their foundation which you guys i think you should really check out and actually there's a link to all of their socials here but they will be posted down below but to get into the white paper here there's all of you know the details everything about the foundation of the project and how it works in here and so you really want to be reading this so war is coming lies is gameplay you can see that you know they break it down for you and if we go further there's elizas they talk about the challenged the contested organized you guys get it there's essentially everything you really need in here to understand the project so please take a look at this they also go through the tokenomics like let's say in I'm gonna go back to the content the assets the marketplace the live ops economic flow the technology behind it the team and the disclaimers you guys you don't want to be missing the disclaimers as well if you want to engage in crypto you got to be doing your due diligence and always checking out the white paper so here we have it it's very nicely laid out it's captivating it'll be a fun read you guys okay with that said everything i mentioned will be linked down below if it's not the website there will be a bunch of links so please you guys head on over to cloudcastles.gg and check it out for yourselves you're gonna have so much fun just even looking through the main pages that you won't want to wait to get whitelisted and start playing in the battle rounds you guys so this is cloud castles i hope you enjoyed this video again if you did please subscribe and like this video subscribe to the channel and i will catch you very shortly with a next project review but bye for now have a lovely day